Dear child of God, when the Lord says a thing, he expects to see it just as he has said it. When he gives forth his word, when there is something that has been altered from his mouth goes out. All that God wants to see is the result of what he had said. The word of the Lord in Genesis chapter 1 verse 9 says, Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so pay attention to the word of the lord it says and it was so which means after god have said it there was no room to dialogue it after God had said it, he was not doubting if what he had said would come out exactly as he had said it. The scripture says, and it was so. Dear child of God, I want you to know that everything God has said to you will be so. Every single thing he has declared, it will be so. Everything he had declared, it will happen exactly as he has said it. Do not come to that point of doubting the word of God. Do not come to that point of allowing things to make you believe that the things he has said will not come to pass. Free of his word, have the power to produce. That was why he said in Isaiah 55 verse 11, that his words will not return back unto him void and empty until it had produced, until it had accomplished until it has fulfilled what it was mandated to do dear child of god if god will say let there be light and there was light it means if god says you will be blessed it definitely means you must be blessed if god has said you will be fruitful it definitely means you will be fruitful if god has said you will multiply it definitely means you must multiply because he had set up a system to see that everything he says must happen just as he has said it. So as the Lord told you a thing and it seemed as though it is not coming to pass yet, dear child of God, wait for it. Dear child of God, be patient because it must definitely happen. He said what he pronounced, what he have said, do not return back until it had accomplished. Every word he says has the power to produce. That was why he said he sent his word and it healed our diseases. Dear child of God, what God have said to you, hold on to it. What he has said to you, believe it because it must happen. Do not allow the devil come to tell you that the things that God has said will not come to pass. Do not allow the devil come to tell you all of his lies, telling you that the promises of God are not true, telling you the promises of God are not always fulfilled. Dear child of God, if the Lord will say a thing and he has sent everything out to see that it was accomplished it means every single thing he has said to you must be accomplished which means every single thing he had uttered from his mouth must come to pass he made it known to jeremiah that he will perform his word dear child of god everything god has said to you he must perform it every single promise he had made he is expecting to see it happen just as he has said it. So believe every word of God. Believe his words are true. Believe his words are potent enough. Believe his words are producing power. To see to it that every single thing he had uttered will happen so. He said the Lord called the dry land and the dry land appeared. It appeared. It appeared. It showed forth immediately. He did not need to think, will it happen? Will it show forth? Will I see it? It happened just immediately. Dear child of God, believe the words of God. What he has written for you. He said he honors his word. 
God have respect for the things that he says. And that is why he wants you to believe his every word. He wants you to believe the word he has sent to your year. Are there some things he has told you you will receive this year? Dear child of God, believe it. Are there some things he said you will receive in the first quarter of the year? And it seems as if we have entered into that first quarter and nothing has happened. Dear child of God, believe God's word. It will happen. Are there some things he has told you you will receive this month? Believe it. It must definitely happen. It may tarry, but wait for it. Just like the vision is for an appointed time, there is a time for the word of God to manifest. There is a time it shows forth. And I want you to believe that every single thing he has said, he expects to see it happen. It is beyond what you are expecting. And if he has said that the expectations of the just in Proverbs 23 verse 18 will not be cut short, if he has said that the expectations of the righteous, if he had said that the things his children are expecting to see will happen as they expect to see it, how much more him who have said it? How much more him who has promised it? He wants to see it more than the way you are expecting it. Dear child of God, believe every word of God. It must happen. Believe every word of God. It will be so in your life and in your family. So if you call forth light out of darkness and it came immediately, if he called for dry land out of the waters and it happened immediately, if he told the waters to gather and it happened immediately, if he had said that let living things abound, let them come out in abundance from the waters and out of nowhere it happened immediately, dear child of God, everything God has said to you will happen. Believe it. Everything he has said in his word, you will see it manifested in your life. Believe it. If he has said that you would have a beautiful marriage, believe it. You must have a beautiful marriage. If he had said that your womb will carry fruit, believe it. If he has said that you will nurse your own child, believe it. If he has said he will settle you in your own home, believe it. If he has said he will build you a house, Believe it. If he has said he will send you monies, believe it. If he has said he will give you a promotion, dear child of God, believe it. If he has said he will get you a job, believe it. Everything that God says happens just as he has said it. He may have told you from the dream of the night. He told Solomon, ask and I will give you. And from the dream, Solomon asked and what God said came to pass. Dear child of God, how much more if you heard it audibly? How much more if he impressed it in your heart that this is what he will do for you? Do not allow anything cause you to doubt the word of God because it must happen just as he has said it. Believe it because he has an expectation to see that his words will come to pass in your life. Do not go on doubting anymore. Because the word of God will be manifested in your life and in your family and you would have a cause to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. And it was so. He called the dry land to appear and it was so. Whatever the Lord has said will happen in your life, it will be so. Believe it today and begin to testify about it because you will see it come to pass you will see it come into your hands and you will have a cause to testify in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you a testimony that will cause your heart to rejoice forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.